Hello and welcome to our inaugural video on Islamic philosophy class, where we embark on a journey through the depths of Islamic philosophy. In this first unit, we're diving into the transformative ideas of one of history's most influential thinkers, Ibn Bajah, known in the West as Avempes. In the vast landscape of Islamic philosophy, Ibn Bajah stands as a towering figure, whose philosophy marks a significant departure from the traditions of his predecessors. Moroccan philosopher Mohamed Abid al-Jabiri famously argued that Ibn Bajah brought about an epistemological break with the oriental philosophy of al-Kindi, al-Farabi, and Ibn Sina. Instead, he introduced an alternative Andalusian tradition that elevated rationality as the supreme path to perfection and happiness. The intellectual legacy of Ibn Bajah will be presented through a series of short videos covering various aspects of his life, ideas, and enduring influence. Our aim is to provide a comprehensive understanding of Ibn Bajah's intellectual landscape. Today we begin by examining his biography, exploring how his interactions with others and the evolving political climate of his era influenced his philosophical perspectives. Ibn Bajah, also known as Abu Muhammad Ibn Yahya al-Tujibi al-Andalusi al-Saragusti, was a prominent figure in the world of Islamic philosophy. Born in Saragossa, Spain, around the end of the 5th Islamic century, Ibn Bajah's life was marked by intellectual pursuits and turbulent encounters with adversity. His epithet Ibn al-Sai, or the son of the jeweler. Hints at his family background, with suggestions that his father was involved in the jewelry trade, possibly as a goldsmith. Throughout his life, Ibn Bajah faced numerous accusations and attempts on his life by those who opposed his philosophical views. For instance, the physician Ibn Zuhr of Seville, father of the famous Abu Marwan Ibn Zuhr known as Avenzor in Latin, is a great opponent of our philosopher. In an epigram directed against Ibn Bajah, he said, The infidel must certainly be condemned, whether he who supports him wishes it or not. The gallows has long been prepared for him and the spear has directed its point against him. The jurist Ibn Kalakan devoted six pages for Ibn Bajah describing his as such and I quote. He directed his mind towards the dimensions of the spheres and the boundaries of the climates. He rejected the Book of God, the All-Wise, and haughtily cast it behind his back. He wished to prove false the revelation which falsehood never does nor can attain and applied himself exclusively to astronomy. He denied that we should return unto God and declared his belief in the governing influence of the stars. Boldly insulting the majesty of the intelligent and all-knowing God, he listened with audacious indifference to his threats and prohibitions, laughing to scorn these words of his he who has placed thee under the rule of the will, will surely bring thee again before him. He believed time to be a revolution of vicissitudes and considered man as a plant or a flower for which death was the ripening and for which the snatching out of existence was the gathering of the fruit. Faith disappeared from his heart, leaving not a trace behind his tongue forgot the praise of the merciful, neither did the holy name cross his lips. Despite these challenges, he served as the vizier minister to Abu Bakr ibn Ibrahim the governor of Murcia and later Saragossa, for nearly two decades. However, political upheaval and the invasion of Saragossa by the Franks in 1119 forced Ibn Bajah to flee to Valencia and later to Zetiva. It was during his time in Zetiva that Ibn Bajah encountered imprisonment under Abu Aishak Ibrahim Ibn Tishafin, the emir of that region. Following his release, Ibn Bajah journeyed to Fez, where he met his tragic end, facing death in 1138. Hence, Ibn Bajah's era was characterized by political instability and the decline of Muslim dominance in Spain. Despite these challenges, he emerged as a leading figure in Islamic philosophy, clearing the path for future philosophers such as Ibn Tufail, Ibn Rushd, and Ibn Khaldun. His philosophical contributions were significant especially considering the prevalent conservative atmosphere dominated by traditionists. Ibn Bajah's works represented a departure from the mystical inclinations of his predecessors, offering a rational and analytical approach to philosophical inquiry. In particular, his critique of Al-Ghazali's mysticism 
and defense of philosophical thinking set him apart as a bold and independent thinker. Ibn Bajjah's insistence on the supremacy of reason and his unyielding pursuit of truth led him to clash with religious orthodoxy, resulting in accusations of heresy and a troubled existence. Despite the adversity he faced, Ibn Bajjah's philosophical legacy endures, challenging us to reconsider our understanding of reason, spirituality, and the pursuit of truth. His works, notably The Regime of the Solitary, offer profound insights into the human condition and the nature of existence. The next video in this series on Ibn Bajjah introduces his philosophical ideas through a focus on his book The Regime of the Solitary. I invite you to hit that subscribe button, join our community to make sure you receive all the episodes. Thank you for following us, and stay tuned for our next video, where we delve deeper into the fascinating world of Ibn Bajjah.